Yeah, well, I've been uh, I've been having you in the back of my mind for a bit um, because there's been so much new stuff happening out there in uh, in the internet and uh, all the different stuff that people are doing, um, even the the bigger companies. Um, I don't know if you've noticed any of this, but um, I've also been um, I've been doing something called uh, alternative reality gaming, um, which is basically a little bit of an expansion on our discussion about how geeks, gamers, hackers, and freaks are going to save the world. And um, the the experience that you get when you start trying something like uh, alternative reality games is you get to see how strong the meta-collaborative layer is. Um, because one thing is running around uh, doing virtual sports and basically warring, right? Which is competition-based. And this is fine. Um, but in, in these environments and these societies and, and communities, you really see how strong collaborative work is. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, Miles and I, when uh, we were talking at, at one point, uh, mentioned the, the fact of um, uh, computers actually out-competing, uh, no, sorry, humans out-competing computers even in, in uh, things that would normally be considered computing-focused. Uh, um, it was uh, about protein uh, folding, where something that hadn't actually been solved by computers in two or three years of running uh, took 11 days for a group of humans to actually do. And I'll guess I'll link the article to this yeah, but as the, well. The point is that that is a very um, strict and very uh, algorithmic process, right? It's, it's, it's something that is known and where you can put up a, a set of mathematical uh, rules. With with this, like in um, alternative reality games, it's more social problems, uh, it's more uh, meta problems, philosophical problems, um, things that, that you don't have a chance of actually guessing. Let's say you put a computer to the task of, uh, of guessing some sort of uh, uh, association line or some sort of uh, encrypted or encoded message with relation to something. So, so the... Um, this junction between uh, the, the, the data, the information, and the actual thing you need to find is huge. Mm. Often uh, the, the um, X formation, uh, the lack of, of information is so huge that you have no chance. But when you have humans doing it, because the, the group is so powerful, uh, because you have so many heads with so much information, it's bound to actually emerge, and it, and it actually emerges faster, the better the, the, the collaborative community is working together. Right. So, so the structure becomes extremely important. Dominance is very bad, but no leadership is also very bad. Right, and I imagine, I mean, AIs, at least as we know them, and they're publicly available now, they, um, well as far as I know, at least, they don't have collaborative incentives the way uh, humans do. There, there's no street cred to be gained by being the best code cracker. There's, there's not that same um, elasticity um, between uh, processes. Um, if you have some sort of expert system or AI system where you have all these things joined together in, 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 in these hive uh, or cluster computing, uh, yes, of course, they collaborate. And, and they even distribute um, different tasks to uh, different CPU strengths and, and all this. So there is this load balancing even on a CPU algorithmic level. But they don't have this ability of uh, um, distributing uh, dynamically. And, and it's, it's, it's just not so stringent. So, so it flows instead of, instead of moving in a binary way. Right. And... Again, I'm, I'm just guessing here, but I mean, going on, on what we discussed before, seeing uh, humans as biological computer interfaces, uh, I mean, that reproduce genes, memes, and what, my, uh, what may be on top of that. Uh, since we, these interfaces, humans, we, since we have the perception of uh, individuality and, and egos, um, I mean, that factor comes into play, and I imagine it doesn't, even when you have uh, several AIs uh, I mean, collaborating uh, in that regard. That, that, that's just more computing power, I guess. I well, it is the dynamic of, uh, of, 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 of leadership and, and the whole um, 
It is it, it, it is this dynamic between someone taking the lead or say dominating and someone being self sacrificing. Um, if you compare this to say a um, uh, a street race, right? Um, mm-hmm. Then using your nitro will will tear your computer uh, apart, right? If, if you start boosting, mm-hmm. but that demand uh, that that self sacrifice then gain, it, it it's a gain to the group. But because if if everyone is just doing that, eventually you will break down all the cars, and no one will get anywhere. But but because it's dynamic, and because there's not that um, stringent um, authoritarian and almost tyrannical thing from real life, where it's persistent and permanent, so there's always one leader, and then the rest is just fodder for the cannons, right? Mm-hmm. Because on the internet, and, and it's it's so much more flowing. You change roles so much faster then you don't burn out. Then everyone gets the chance to say, okay, now we're going to be serious and now I'm going to lead and, 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 and take control of, of what, what we are doing. That dynamic is, is slowly becoming something that at least the geek community is very accustomed to. Mm. It doesn't need to be any uh, designated leader and, and especially because tasks in alternative reality gaming is so um, different from time to time, right? then who leads becomes uh, uh, a, a true meritocracy. Right. I can tell you've, been, you've missed making these dialogues. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I've just been a little bit hyped because uh, right. I've, been, I've been doing But I mean, so the, the, uh, to put this another perspective, I mean, I, I heard a Max Kaiser report recently where he, he you know, outlines this to people who are not within the geek community and don't know these things, that uh, what we're seeing is a beginning stage is an emerging trend uh, that also the fuel and fire of the open source movement purpose driven work not profit driven yeah and 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 even more um, as these old systems come to a halt and, and dies down um, what what you will see is that more and more of this becomes not just popular but the people are, are, are basically just standing in line waiting to start doing this uh, most of them don't even know that many of these things can be applied in real life. Uh, recently, um, Google and, and Lego um, uh, started doing a joint venture, and they're now launching some sort of a builder tool for Google Chrome. Uh, that might seem like a small thing, but if you compare this to something like the new game My- uh, Minecraft and how that exploded, and it's actually created by only one guy, um, and the creativity that people have applied in this, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Um, Conscious you know, co-creation, right? Yeah, but, but, but this is, that sounds so woo and hippie-like. This is actually really practical. It's just like playing with your Legos with your friends in, in, in kindergarten, right? In it's virtual, very virtual kindergarten, then. It's very boring playing all by yourself. Hmm. And then you don't get the added creativity and the interaction from the other kids right this is the same thing just on a much grander scale and people that have seen what's been created in minecraft people that's noticed that the minecraft models are already getting printed in 3d printers um, on demand uh, all these things when you start putting them together right you can see that that what has happened with so many industries before where they have loosened up and become even more uh, free and available and abundant um, like well we can start with the thing that, that was the biggest industry when the internet was very young which is the porn industry <laughs> and then and then later the music industry and then the movie industry it's like all these things that <laughs> that, that people have a need for will eventually be liberated and this is about production and this is about um, extremely easy shared uh, productivity. Mm. So, so you will get things like um, uh, uh, the open source ecology project that will start drawing on that type of people, people that's been doing things like Minecraft and and cracking and and, and open source programming, all these things. They will start seeing that all these things actually have something except for the immaterial wealth generation, but actual productivity and, and real wealth. Right. And it is because man hours are becoming the most valuable resource on the planet. And the more these technologies flow out, 
and we get back to having a real economy that's backed by something, by actual people, uh, then you will just see these things explode. Mm. Right, I, I truly ho hope so. I mean, I've been... But I haven't been keeping uh, tabs on much of anything. I mean, I've been browsing the 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 few, you know, also alternative news sites uh, that are out there, ma mainly for you know geopolitical headlines. So yeah. no, I'm I'm out of the loop. I've been in, in tr digging deeper and deeper into well, you know, trying to connect uh, networks. The thinking uh, is at some point to the node in the grid. Uh. The problem with the news is that it's so obviously uh, switched from a propaganda to a COINTELPRO uh, mechanism. Uh, some of the most recent battles that have been running, if I don't know if you noticed them, is uh, of course the um, uh, legalizing of, uh, of marijuana. Mm. Um, that is very huge and a lot of interests are throwing everything at it uh, to see if, uh, if they can win. And uh, well, recently there was the uh, the guy that, uh, that that ate the face off of uh, another guy, uh, someone uh, that, with a psychosis of some sort, and initially they they tried to push it on on one type of drugs, and then they only found that he had some remnants of cannabis in his, his system, and then basically they are using that now to spin the whole anti uh, cannabis movement. Uh, it's uh, it, it's because they they made a big blunder with uh, uh, one of the hearings in the U.S. So, and and everyone seems to be still so U.S. centric. I hope that that is going to shift soon because well, I mean, <coughs> to my mind, there's enough <coughs> interesting things to look at in uh, in Europe. I mean, that's what I've been keeping tabs mostly on uh, uh, the financial reporting about what's what's looming on the horizon. Um, now they say it'll begin happening after the summer holidays are over. But, I mean, they've been saying that for a while. I mean, I, I, I am starting to be, you know, well, leaning towards the view that there will be no sudden shift, no sudden no, crackdown. No, it, it, it will not happen until uh, individuals outside the traditional loop uh, starts doing the work, because... You will not have the big media industry pushing the story of how Iceland basically said fuck off to the entire financial industry. You will not get that in the news. You will get that in some small documentary or something like that. But it's not the story that will be followed up again and again and again. No, like they, 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 no but you're right. I mean, the, the Young Turks so they did one feature that I saw. But, uh I mean, yeah, and and of course it's been it's been covered, but you have to remember that the Young Turks are actually underground and fringe compared yeah. to uh, uh, the main line in the U.S. But of course, so so the equivalent is not really happening in in Europe yet. It's still just very word word of mouth and and the whole grapevine thing. So I'm still waiting for people to start focusing on the really important things because you don't see Rick Falk being in in yeah. normal news. But, but uh, Jakob, don't hold your breath. I mean, <laughs> it, it for sure will happen, but, but uh, there are years to come. Um, and, yeah, no, it's just that some of, some of the, the meetings I've been having, it, it, it's, it's really great, I mean, to, to, I mean, to sit in, in a room of... of Elders, the only thing really uniting us there is that, that uh, we have the time to spare, uh, and we all unemployed, living in Copenhagen, uh, and 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 so fucking obviously be the wisest guy in the room. I may not be the smartest, but uh, but with regards to keeping tabs on what's actually going on, and 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 just to, to see the um, to feel it now that I've have had an opening into a different kind of a view and and way of living. To, to see the, the vitality and, and the, the potential just ripped out of people. I'm not saying these people uh, would be in that much more woo -hoo, where they employed, but um, but it, it's, uh, it's a little bit saddening, but also gives me great hope for, for future generations. I mean, no matter the, the biological toxins that will be in their environment, um, I mean, they will just be hyped uh, to, in a, I mean, to a different level. They will be collaborating, I don't know, with different speeds, and and shit will emerge. That um, man, it, it's it's going to really uh, pick up when um, 
well, if if this uh, political direction continues and the financial sector keeps having these representatives in politics, which it looks like they are going to it's, keep it's for a while. Su- it's a zombie fest. I mean, it's like, feed, feed. <laughs> well, the next thing I, I am pretty sure will happen, and that's usually where it starts, uh, is either France or the UK will start having some serious issues and, and problems. Okay. And those populations are very um, prone to react when something like that happens. No one is talking about the fact that the Icelandic population uh, said uh, no, no way um, to the financial sector because it's a small population and yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they also, I mean, the, I mean, I, I, I heard uh, those demonstration uh, back in the fucking icy cold uh, spring we just had. Where they invited her, her Dutrofasan, who was probably the main, uh, most active activist uh, of that revolution, who's an, an artist, been doing different things, and he, I think most of his speech is on YouTube, but he he basically lined out in, a, in in 20 minutes that the whole process has been going on there and how how difficult it was, how, how there was, uh, and for a long time there was no hope of anything, and at the, I mean at the end they were getting desperate and and you know the movement was was losing. All traction, and that they were re- they were had to resort to something desperate measures, and just standing outside Parliament and just banging pots and pans for four days and nights straight. Yeah, and <coughs> I think, I think there, listen to me. I just want to recount this. I mean, they had these three absurd demands. I mean, the general election, uh, new constitution, uh, plus the, the the government and the, the the heads of the financial council they had in Iceland all had to resign. Absurd demands. I mean, I've never heard something like that. I mean, and, and you know, uh, four days into to this marathon uh, noise demonstration, I mean, one minister resigns, and within a month, all the, I mean, they have all the demands. Of course, now, a couple of years down the line, I mean, the new parliament refused to ratify the people's constitution, so the fight goes on. Um, but it was just, it was really, really interesting, but it also outlined the fact that there's uh, there's no guarantee that any individual solution uh, that happens in a small nation like that uh, can be transferred or scaled up, because well, th- large societies are more complex. All these things are really just um, things that, that, that we've seen for the last 100 years, even 200 years, so, so that's really not new. What, what will be the game breaker or the thing that really changes things is when we start a trend of going back to seeing money as something that belongs in the Commonwealth. And until we can start teaching people to understand that that is important, if, if you start, I'm all for privatization and for uh, competition. You know that. I am actually very right wing when it comes to uh, meritocracy and competing for goods. But there are some things that needs to be considered commonwealth. True, but and, I mean, you had, but the, the, kind, the kind of competition you're talking about is, uh, you could actually call it I mean, constructive or collaborative competition, right, rather than destructive competition. Um, but the, uh, competition has always been what creates wealth. The problem is that now we have m- a money system that is, that, that is no longer in the public interest. That means they do not care about individuals they do not care about nature. They only care about their own little interest groups. So, so until we get that back, it would be equivalent to, to having a highway system where it's owned by too many people. And then you can't have it as a, uh, as a highway. It, it, the speed will, will be ridiculous because there's going to be pay tolls everywhere. Mm. So it's going to slow down the whole system, right? And, and it's the same that's happened with the money system. It's just been using this inflationary solution all the time, and we've lost the the, the ability to to do these uh, jubilee things where we uh, um, gave away uh, debt, right? Mm. But I mean, our generation and uh, maybe uh, mainly the people are slightly younger than us, but uh, say people now in their twenties, then. Uh, to me, it makes sense that these will be the people that will get this and will know it in their bones. And, and uh, where, where the, well, all of them that don't have, you know, their parents financing the fancy lifestyles, they are well, they are purpose-driven rather than profit-driven. Of course, they're partying most of the time uh, b- because there's there's a little, little difference. Some some of them are actually, you know, 
getting ready for a, but, but maybe a money help. less existence. That, that won't help. No, no, because no, no, it's no. Always no. been like that. Yes, the, the, yeah, yeah. But listen, listen. The plebs have always known this. The, the 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 people that we need to get to understand this and and really fight for it are the people that have power. People like our uh, financial elite, not not the 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 ones that aren't creating wealth, but the ones that are actually creating something. The real uh, productive parts of society, the real businesses, they need to support the society and not some of their friends from their uh, golf club or something like that because the, you cannot support someone that is making money off of nothing like interest compounding interest mm -hmm. uh, keeping people indebted and 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 the economic system has been stolen by scam artists and the people that actually suffer is not just us it's also the potentially wealthy the people that should have the power that should have the businesses and and this is sad because uh, if if you have to compete with someone that's cheating you can't win oh and you have to cheat better yes you can't play tit for tat and you and you certainly can't play tit for two tat no that that's impossible so we have a system that is is geared to scam and kill people so the people that should have the businesses of today, uh, you know, preparing themselves for the businesses of tomorrow by playing alternate reality games? No, but it, it's, it's that we need to tell people that we, we, we do not benefit from having a new French Revolution. Of course, it seems like we do, but only for a while. It will go back to a periodical thing if we do mm -hmm. that. So, so we will just replace one king with a new king. And, and it's the so, so ideally, we, I mean, we, though it seems difficult, we need to somehow have a collective amnesia and forget that there is a king and, and you know, make ends meet using new currencies. We need to support the, the, the people in society that have earned and deserved their wealth and that pay it forward. Because if... It, if, if we make this trench war that I've talked about before, then they will hide on the other side and they will never start working with us. And we cannot have any sort of resolution if we just keep making it a trench war. Hmm. Because they rigged the game. They already have the wealth. And, and, and like I was commenting on, uh, on the situation with the uh, forestation uh, uh, in uh, South America, they sit there and they say, oh, but it's the Western corporate interests that come and cut down the forests. Yeah, but it's still in your fucking backyard. Why are you letting them cut down your trees? When most of them use indigenous labor, do they not? Mm, that doesn't matter. I'm right. pretty sure that there's more Brazilians in Brazil than, than, than foreigners working in, in the lumber mills. Just go and take it back. No one in the West would accept something like that. No population would accept that. Are you sure? They're starting a test drilling of fracking in Jutland uh, in August. Yeah, le let's just wait and see the response. Mm -hmm. Because people will not have that. If you start having gas coming out of your faucets mm -hmm. and people start getting sick, uh, a Danish or British or French, French or any European country really, but I mean, but why, why are you kidding? There, 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 there were many, many other countries in Europe. I mean, the, the interesting thing is, no, we have these, we have EU for all its fault and, and, and shitload. But I mean, many European countries have banned practices of fracking, and and, and so, uh, ooh, okay, so let's go to the European countries where they haven't banned it yet. What the fuck? Where, 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 where's, where's EU regulations when you actually need them? Our security is, uh, and our safety is in that we can share the information. True. They cannot shut down the Danish internet. They no. cannot take away your, right. your ability uh, to show what's going on. Right. So you need to, to fight locally, and the same in, in Brazil. Or one Africa. one inter I mean, I, 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 I mean, fracking is, is, is fucked up, bad, and wrong, and, 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 and unnecessary and on so many levels, however you, you approach it. I, I did mention it to my father, and he was uh, actually aware of this uh, in an interesting way. As you know, he's a professor at the Institute of, of Geology. Mm -hmm. And he actually, he, well, made me aware that there are different kinds of, you know, 
underground. <laughs> Basically, and, and in Denmark, where you would find the gas is so deep down that it's uh, more than a kilometer below where the groundwater is, which means that there shouldn't be able, uh, there shouldn't be any risk really, or at least a great risk of uh, of poisoning of the groundwater, like there is when you drill in shale la layers, which are you know near the groundwater level. Um, which is what's you know, going on in much of the United States, where, where you know, the documentary gas line was made. Still, so I mean, uh, there, there, there's no argument for fracking other than, you know, hey, profit, profit. But, uh, but this is about, uh, again, property. And, and mm -hmm. since these things are owned by the people, yeah, they, well, they, they, they not don't, yeah, but they're not even owned by the people. They, they, they should be, if you, if you argue like that. I mean, of, of course it should be, be you know, national property. Okay, so the Danes living here own the natural gas. Fuck it off. What really shocked me was, I mean, the, the, I saw on the, you know, signature round on Avaz was that uh, apparently the Danish government is only in for 20% of the take on this yeah, but venture. the point is that they do own it. You do own that resource. I would rather the, the say companies. The companies only rent access to it. Yeah, but I mean, and and, and interesting enough, I mean, the the profits don't go to the twenty percent proceeds don't even go to the people; it goes to the state. Um, but, but but well, I mean, in one aspect, um, actually, I I don't much subscribe to to the notion of ownership of land. We belong to the fucking land. No, but the, the, the point is that ownership is, uh, of course, on a meta level and philosophically an illusion. Mm -hmm. the, the, the point is, who is allowed to use what resources? Why are they allowed to use it? And what benefit does it bring? Right? Exactly. And this is the problem. And, and, and that is, to, to get people to start thinking like that, they need to be taught basic economics, basic philosophy, uh, basic human conduct and, and, and ethics. We, we so agree. All this talk is, and, and, and we've been, we've been destroyed as a, as a species by some inter-species uh, predator, right? They, they even destroy our language. They, they only give us, give us snippets and then they, when we start making mistakes, they, they, they will manipulate things to mean something else. So the people that we should look up to and respect become disrespected. Oh. Like calling someone a hypocrite. Yeah, but you know, I, I, of all the things, uh, you know, the stories, narratives that can explain this. I mean, so far, I mean, the the the, the concept of uh, memes as you know replicators, it, it it's it's just it works for me. I mean, it it it, it explains everything actually. If people can just uh, step outside the the, the notion of, of subjectivity in, in this regard, I mean the the most successful memes went out. Same thing with genes. It's just with the horizontal replication strategy. Um, yeah, predatory memes. They are ahead in the game. Um, and 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 when you have a, a you know a infancy of global communication, yeah, they they are even more ahead. Well. Oh, um. I think we have a generation that will mm, slowly uh, start realizing what methods are being used against them because it might seem corny but things like meme bombs right mm -hmm. and where you take a, a meme plex uh, and then you wrap basically basically you're putting razor blades in candy mm -hmm. right which was actually one of those fear campaigns the recent documentary about uh, about fear uh, the, that I that I link you, um, this is basically what they're doing. They're taking uh, good ideas and then they're poisoning them, poisoning them with things that cause fear or aggression, uh, and that's really back to a Yoda quote, right? Mm. About the dark side. That that's what you do. It's fu funny though. Short yeah, yeah. F funny. I mean, uh, just. Uh, and Quote an example of this uh, from a you know problematic source actually. Uh, AJ uh, did an anal analysis of the Batman series, the recent one with Christian Bale, where where he actually goes and looks at what what I mean the Joker, what kind of character is he? Well, he's a libertarian. I mean, <laughs> a lot of uh, how he's portrayed in that film uh, are you know libertarian values, and, and except that this has this slight little add-on app 
that he's a psychopathic maniac who likes blowing <laughs> blowing things up. Everything else about him, well, that's libertarian. <laughs> well, uh, aside from that, it, it it's um, I, I like your comparison with mm. with that because then you can uh, if you if you take the whole Batman identity right, mm. being a libertarian and, and fighting for the poor, that's all good and fine. But then he's a billionaire in his spare time. Right, but the the thing about right. that, yeah, but again, how AJ wants to spin that is that that's part of the, the you know the generalized Hollywood uh, disempowerment propaganda that heroes have to be superheroes, and that uh, and, and and again with I have no problem quoting him this one because he he's right throughout the uh, at least the film version of. Um, on the Batman series, uh, whenever we hear of another uh, vigilante, and there are several in the new films, uh, I mean, they're useless, uh, they, they can't do anything, and they're there just to, to get killed in, in horrific ways. Um, I mean, it only the superhero, only the uh, f father figure, or whoever you want to call it, I mean, the larger-than-life main protagonist character ha can have any success in fighting back. But the point is that this is this is the world upside down. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing. They need to keep evil beset on us on all sides at all times to keep us doing things the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because the natural uh, behavior of human beings is actually positive. But they need to perpetuate these lies. Like if you take the Batman and the Joker um, opposition, right? Mm -hmm. The power of good and the power of right is actually the Joker. If you start analyzing what's going on on a socio-economic level, the mm. hero is the Joker. It's just they spin that story in reverse. Mm. So you will look up to people that have that have tons of wealth on behalf of someone's suffering, yes. because the the crime in Gotham is caused by people like Batman. Mm. That's the irony. That is why the Joker is trying to burn the money, because that will start the system over. Mm -hmm. Which is also why, if you take um, those, uh, 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 that order that actually trains him, right? Uh, that creates... League, chaos. League of Shadows. Yes, that, that when things become too decadent, they destroy it and mm -hmm. let it start over, because they know that human beings are usually positive beings that, that create uh, wealth for themselves and their closest exactly right? and, and and they make i mean they, they make it you know f obvious to to the insiders on, on so many levels i mean okay there's the, the, the one simple question how many bad guys has liam neeson played <laughs> none <No. laughs> right <laughs> but th this is what you will see that that uh, i think the, the 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 because of access to information because it's so easy to share these things and basically share wisdom we are now looking at the fact that the internet is developing into a global academy. Mm. And yes, it's been a marketplace up till now, selling the traditional things that people crave. Well, but, but, but again, but step beyond the Aristotelian uh, you know, dialectic. It's both and, it will continue to be both and. Yeah, of course, but, but the, the point is that people are now getting access to things that were only... A, accessible by an elite yes and and that will be the game changer uh, you see this a lot in uh, uh, what is popular um, in uh, on call it the internet natives mm. the amount of documentaries these people are watching and is producing amazing. and producing and producing they, they are producing and remixing and, and creating their own stuff and all this but the the, the point is that when you then ask them about something like, so who won the European Championship? Huh? They haven't <laughs> even seen it. But they've seen, uh, and they might not even have a, a, what you would call a classical uh, education or any higher degree uh, degrees, but they know everything about these things. Yeah. You, you, you cannot control a population that have this type of access. Mm. Well, it, it, if, if I can add on to that, because I mean, I, I've never really been interested in, in soccer and, yeah, played a little bit, but I had some bad experiences. But, but anyway, I mean, in, in watching it, and, uh, and I mean, with this, this time around, I, mean, I, I had a little bit of it with, uh, together with Sa, and, and, and there is, 
I, I really felt it as, 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 as what it was. I mean, it was uh, the mass psychosis. It was uh, presented there, okay, I'm watching the Danish team play. I mean, if you have fucking no regard for them, I don't, I don't know any of the people. Uh, I don't feel particularly Danish. I mean, there was that uh, ready-made, offered on a silver platter, you know, opportunity to partake of the mass psychosis and feel united by a symbol. That, and, and, and that, uh, the chance of that uh, is becoming uh, much, much rarer, I believe, than uh, any of the previous uh, generation of ancestors that have experienced. I mean, because there are so few uniting and binding symbols uh, where you can achieve this mass consciousness or, or a mass desire for, for something uh, which is tied up to, to a declaratorial combat in modern form, right? What's, the, what's the, that Chinese saying? Inside every human being, it, no, it's a Native American. Mm. Uh, th there's two wolves. Uh, one of them is the one that will protect you and your family uh, and, and, and be a, a good, um, good dog, really, right? Mm. And the other one is, is the one that, that, that's aggressive and that will eat you and that will uh, pee all over your carpets. The werewolf. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, basically. And the one that gets to express itself is the one you feed. I, I think that says a lot, right? Because mm. this, is, this is what it's all about, and that is why they need to keep us hungry. Mm. And, oh, and afraid. Exactly, afraid, because that brings out the yeah. uh, anxiety and the fear-biting thing. So. Yep, of course, and uh, the... Yeah, anxiety eating disorders. So, <clears throat> I think um, I think what what we are going to see now is that you, you already see it a little bit because things like uh, Jewish media and Julian Assange and all these things that's like the first wave of hacker mentality that that actually surfaces, mm -hmm. right? And, and it's been pretty strong and it's had a huge effect really on on the global society. The next thing will not be so politically oriented, it, it will be socio-economic. And people haven't really noticed this yet. And that will be very powerful. You already see it a little bit in um, uh, movements like um, uh, gay rights, mm -hmm. actually. Where even though something might stem from what you would call the cesspit of, uh, of the internet, things like uh, uh, Reddit and, and 4chan and, and things like that, what you will see is that you also see the white hats coming from there. Mm. Because it's, uh, it's natural human behavior that if, if there is something that is light, there's also something that is dark. There always have to be a shadow side. Mm. There's no such thing as a perfect human being. We all have, have our yeah, demons. Sure. No, no, but, but also, I mean, it... it <laughs> that's a, you know, one of the old jokes. I mean, it, Heaven is boring, right? I mean, at, at some point, I mean, you, for heaven to be perfect, you'd have to at least be able to look down into hell and see people suffering. Um. The thing is, we are really now in a, in, a, in a state where we are creating some global alchemy. We are going to see the gold rising to the surface. We've been doing it wrong. We've been doing it the classical way, where we, all you get rising to the surface is not gold. It's fucking poison and lead, right? Mm. But what we will get now is the pure philosopher's stone. The people that, that are the real aristocrats in the traditional sense of the word, which is the most virtuous, mm. they will gain more and more power, and you yeah. already see it happening. Exactly, but I mean, and, and you can see, see that, I mean, in two threads, I mean, first of all, the I mean, what I was about. Uh, the whole the whole new age thing. I mean, where uh, people are supposed to to undersell than themselves as a <coughs> abundant source of free energy, call it ascension or what the fuck ever you will, um, and how on the I mean technological memeplex side we we have the same thing. At least according to you, we will see a full disclosure of the fact, maybe even of the fact that there are ancient astronauts. Who the fuck knows? But at least of the fact that there are free abundant energy available in the universe for people who desire to access it and that that comes with the maturity to understand that you can do it through technology for sure but you can also do it through yourself first we need to make sure that we get the big topics off the table and and, and have the solution ready for that things like copyrights and patents which is basically ownership rights um, 
that needs to be fixed. We need to reestablish some sort of commonwealth. And then we need to focus on taking the three foundational things in Adam Smith's uh, Wealth of Nation, which is basically uh, uh, justice, security, and logistics. That needs to be fixed. As long as you have situations like in the UK where internet prices are through the roof, when it costs nothing to maintain a system like that. <laughs> and most of the users, the heavy users, are actually the geeks themselves, the ones that could actually maintain it and improve it themselves. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's a scam. The people that are using it are the people that are creating it, and then those people are the ones creating some wealth for some financial industry that then sits there and just milks it. Mm -hmm. So these things need to be cheap. Same with public transport. In, in, in a world where it's cheaper to fly than to ride a train, it's retarded. Yeah. If, if we can't even get our politicians to look at things like that, then we need a revolution of some sort. Our politicians? Any politician. They're not ours. Well, no, they're not. And, and that's the point. As long as you see paradoxes like this, then we won't get any improvement of society. And, and that is what the population needs to learn. And we can easily teach each other these things using the Internet. Exactly. It's about, I mean, who we talk to, why we talk to, and, well, perhaps more importantly, I mean, whom and what we listen to. Yeah, but it is coming because as, when, when, when we start explaining these things in a way that makes sense and actually teach each other instead of, well, um, that uh, Suzuki guy, um, uh, the scientist, he was commenting about um, the whole situation of, uh, of the global socioeconomics and, and he gets very angry. But, but it is about teaching and when you put people in the business industry and the financial sector in in uh, business schools where they teach you things that are fundamentally a lie. Or, or at least has very crucial omissions. <laughs> I'm, I'm back at that. In that uh, it's that episode of uh, Asterix, the one with the prophet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just scam artists. Mm -hmm. They're bullshitting us. And, and that's what we need to wake up to. And, and, and it's going to be easy because the creativity is so amazing. In a, in, in, in a, in a world where it's so easy to, to produce or at least uh, disseminate people like Juice Media and v Hard and that type of genius, this is going to happen. <laughs> it's just a question of how fast. So we need to work together and we are starting to do that. Really starting to do that. So I'm, I'm hopeful, very hopeful. It might be a, it's the, it's the last dark night. Mm. I don't think it'll be the last. But, no, but, but, but there's a dawn coming for sure. The rest will be small tweaks and fixes once we get, well, it's, it's like in, uh, what is it, in, in 1944 when, uh, when Denmark was liberated. Jake, it's awesome to have you back. <laughs> I'm sort of back. All right. Sort of back. 